I don't know about you, but whenever the new year always hits, it almost kind of feels like that all of my problems have been left in the previous year and I get to start the new year completely afresh. So it'd be interesting if you've experienced that as well. And I want to just, I think, just to elaborate more on this idea of the uh, the new year mindset that most people experience, because I'm sure I'm not alone with this. And if you are thinking about working on your date in life for this year, that kind of golden window, especially with this sort of new year mindset, um, it tends to last for about three months. It's usually around that March time that that magic kind of like uh, wears away and everyone goes back to normal or they go back into their old routines from the previous year. You tend to see that a lot, I think, even with like everyone wanting to work on their physique because maybe they've eaten too much turkey or food and snacks and stuff over Christmas and New Year. And then everyone always starts January with the idea of like, right, I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to sign up to this. I'm going to sign up to that. And, you know, it's amazing. You know, I remember when I'd be going into the gym, how crazy busy the uh, the Januarys were, but just how when February would come about, like half of the room would empty. And then when it get to March, it would be exactly like it was for like the rest of the year. So if you're thinking about working on your date in life, January to March is certainly the best window of opportunity to really focus on putting the effort into the changes that you want to make simply because we really want to optimize and take advantage of your new mindset or of you wanting to dedicate your time to this. So that would be a case of let's say you really wanted to work on your cold approach, then certainly January to March is going to be like one of the best times for you to consider going to a dating coach. Not to say that the rest of the year you want to rule out, but it's more that you will be more into the idea of going to a dating coach. You will be more motivated to taking action early in the year necessarily than later on in the year when maybe things need to happen or maybe you need to be having conversations with people who might then motivate you into getting into doing things. So I want you to hold on to this new year reset mindset and I want you to consider any action that you want to take to try and do it between the January and March period. At least where, the, again, this window is going to be where you'll most likely be reliant on yourself. It's not going to take anyone else to motivate you. You've set your dating goals and you're like, right, I now want to look to achieve them. So whilst you've got that high, go out, do the things that you want to do. If it's go into a dating coach, if it's practicing cold approach on your own or with other people, if it's thinking about learning new skills like languages or getting hobbies or looking to go to social events and networking, now is going to be the time to do it. And plus, whilst a lot of places tend to offer cheaper prices in January to March, also consider taking advantage of that because, you know, as everyone's spent all their money for Christmas presents or for, for Christmas dinners and also for New Year celebrations, everyone tends to be on a budget and a lot of places also recognize that as well. So just consider that if you are looking to do something for your life then, you know, January to March is going to be the best time to really do it. And this isn't going to be just for this year. This tends to happen for every single year. Uh, again, for myself and even for friends and clients that I know as well, it's always the exact same thing that if they're going to do anything, uh, any kind of action taking or taking responsibility for things that they want to look to achieve, January, February, March is the time to do it. So I'd love to hear in the comments below what things maybe you're considering doing for uh, for working on your date in life this year. And I'd love to hear what things could you do now or at least over the January, February and March period that could get you those results earlier in the year 
than later, or at least just get you started with taking action. So later in the year, could see you getting some really good results for dating. So other than that, uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Uh, if you can like and subscribe to the channel, and certainly if you are struggling yourself as well with taking action, I am also a life coach. So certainly check out my website in the description below. But other than that, I have been Dan, that dating anxiety guy, and look forward to another video coming out from me.